The T36 by Tommy Bill. Easily I can say, in my top five guns I wish I had that were full automatic, this would be in top five. I shot this gun in full automatic one time, and uh, let's just say, I rather enjoyed it. The G36, which is essentially what this is, this is a G36 clone by Tommy Bill. The G36 is essentially a gun I've wanted for years, for eons. And to be honest with you, the biggest driver about why I want the gun is because of the way it looks. I think this is probably by far one of the best looking rifles out there. I, I just, there's something about it that just works for me. Now, it looks like a toy. It does look like a toy. It feels like a toy too, because it's so light, but from a rifle standpoint, not even not even like the, the G36's full size, I'm talking the G36C. This configuration right here, from a proportion standpoint, to me is just pure and utter sex. Tactical sex. Ugh. And so, when I came across Tommy Built, and the problem was you just couldn't get your hands on these damn things. Um, HK does weird stuff and they don't, sometimes like to put out the coolest guns that they have. But Tommy Built turns these, turns in collections of parts into essentially G36s. Um, I love this. I really, 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 really love this. This is also gonna be in the top five of guns that give me the feels. Um, right now, it's this gun and my Meridian Defense um, RPK. So, part of the, another aspect of this gun that, that makes me really love it so much is it's it's just unique. It's not like any other rifle that I've encountered. Everything about it is almost completely different from an AR-15. For instance, to rack, to actually rack it, you have this ambi select, you get this ambi charging handle right here, you can do it for any, either side you want, and you rack it, we're good to go. So let's do some shooting. When I shot this gun in full auto, the one thing I walked away from it feeling was, it felt like I was shooting a sewing machine. The recoil impulse on this gun is like none other. It's just soft. Like it, it really, it's just, it, God, it's just so freaking soft. And this is, this is, this is, as for all intents and purposes, an SBR version. This is actually a, a brace, 3D printed brace, but a brace nonetheless. Um, and just look at this, it's just so angular and just, yeah. Now, again, it kind of depends which lens you kind of look at this gun because it does kind of look like a toy. God, like just the way you can handle and manipulate this thing. It's just so, it's almost like you have to be careful because you forget, no, this is a rifle. This is a full blown rifle you have in your hands right now, but it's so light. It just, from an ergonomic standpoint, I like it, but I, I sometimes wonder if I'm forcing it because I love the way it looks so much. Er, from an ergonomic standpoint, I mean, this feels very natural. I could sit here all day long all right, another thing too, as far as getting the magazine out, right? The magazine, it's a paddle release, right? Paddle, it's almost AK style, all right? So these particular P-Mags will work in this, um, other P-Mags won't.
this trigger and under dry fire this trigger doesn't it doesn't really do much it doesn't do it like you just don't really think about it it's not bad it's not good under live fire this trigger transforms and turns into one of the most predictable triggers i think i've ever shot it's not uh, it's not a high it's not a high speed low drag kind of trigger where it's like super live just clean clean crisp sexy little breaks nah it's just very deliberate and it's awesome <laughs> like it's just it's just you know exactly what it's gonna do every single time. I like this trigger a lot. That's another thing with this gun. It's so light and so well balanced. Like everything is just straight down the middle here. The center of gravity is perfect. And the beautiful thing about it is it you can just manipulate this thing however you want. Here, if I need to readjust it, bring it here, bring it here. And it's not a cumbersome activity to do. Um, even even for just if I'm just gonna go from just transitioning from side to side, if I'm like it's just so easy. It's such an enjoyable shooting gun. It, it, it like the plastics make the gun feel really comfortable, so you don't have all of these metals and wood, just kind of abrasive materials just kind of digging into your hands. I mean, look at this, that's from an MP5. It's just a plastic little grip. I mean, look at this thing. It's just, good God, Tommy, you did a phenomenal job on this thing. Like, look at it! It's just sexy, and it's also one of the guns that if I never had a red dot to put on it, I honestly wouldn't care. I think from an irons perspective, this gun to me is, it's perfect. However, I will say this, because the height over bore is so freaking ridiculous, you gotta be careful with the optics, at least I think, because when you start putting optics on this thing with risers, and mounts and stuff, the gun starts looking silly. I'm just, I just, just me personally, I think the gun looks silly. So I am gonna throw on an optic. It's probably gonna be a Delta Point Pro when I can find the, the lowest mount possible to mount it on here. But other than that, I wouldn't put anything else on here. I'm not gonna put, I think, I think standard size red dots are too big. Um, I'm definitely not gonna put a variable power optic on this thing. It's just too big. And it just, it just sits too high. It just starts looking wonky and it just throws off all the center of gravity. So, I wanna show you something here. So there is this charge you can, this bolt release, you could actually do it here very intuitively where I just kinda of stick my hand here and drop the bolt. All right, let me not lie, it's not that intuitive. <laughs> like you think it's intuitive when you look at it and you're kinda of playing around with it, but in reality, it, I mean, unless I train to it, maybe, but for all intents and purposes, it looks intuitive, seems intuitive, not very intuitive. Cool though. It's just consistent. It's not the fastest shooting gun in the world. It's not slow by any stretch of the imagination. It's perfect. And then full auto, oh, it's so controllable because the recoil impulse is just, it's just nil. There's no recoil essentially. Yeah, I said that. It feels like there's just no recoil. I've shot guns with 16 inch rifles with 16 inch barrels that had more recoil than this. And this is, this falls into the purposes of an SBR. So I'm like, wait a minute, what's going on here? Why is this gun so easy to freaking shoot? Maybe because there's no recoil and it's light as hell. Man, dog, I just, I just really, really, really love shooting this gun. It just, just, it's just, all day, all day, all day, I can shoot this gun all day long. And, and I won't walk away tired. My, my RPK, it's awesome, but it's heavy, right? Ruger Red Hawk Alaskan, awesome gun, but it fucking destroys your wrist. Like, it's just, it's just like, oh! Now, what I'm probably gonna end up doing is I got a, I got a Surefire can coming in for it that I'm gonna attach to this. I'm gonna, I am gonna suppress this. I'm gonna put a, probably a Delta Point Pro as far as my optic, probably get a Surefire light that I attach to it, set it up with a coupler magazine. I've debated whether or not I want to actually form it and, S and turn it into a real SBR. This is really close to how the actual stock looks. So a part of me is like, for what? Um, because then I could cross state lines with it without having to do paperwork. You get this compact package in what essentially is, to me, 
one of the best alternatives to the AR style rifle, AR pattern rifles. I love this thing. I freaking, freaking, freaking love this thing. Just want to kiss it. Kiss it. It's so fun to shoot. It's so pleasurable to shoot. See, this gun is more pleasurable to shoot than it is fun. There's a difference. That RPK, that AK, that thing is fun to shoot. This is pleasurable. You know, because it's light, muck around, you just kind of skip to my just like bing, 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 pew, 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 pew. All right, I'm taking <laughs> too far, but you get the point. So, the T36 from Tommy Built. Good job, brother. Good job. You killing it with these builds, man. And he builds all types of these things in different colors, different setups, you name it. He's killing it, man. And I love it. I freaking love it. <sighs> I need I want some more ammo. I want to shoot some more. <sighs> Right now, there's a culture war against the Second Amendment, which is why I need your help spreading our message to counter their message. You can do this by leaving a comment, sharing this video, and click the bell and subscribe button. Let my voice be your voice, and let them know you wanna keep America tactical, because the right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed wasn't a suggestion, it was a directive. Also, if you're wondering where to get your I will not comply, I lost all of my guns in a boating accident, the AR-15 is protected by the Second Amendment, and your state-specific Keep America Tactical shirts, click the links in the description section of this video.